beautiful images, beautiful launches, and awesome new features on your Space Pod for June 30th, 2010. Let's take a look at some stunning images, shall we? We start our journey with an amazing picture taken by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO. With a wide-angle camera pointed at Earth, the LRO team took this awesome view of our home planet. The top right of the picture at around 2 o'clock is the North Pole. You can also see Japan and Australia from here. Now, I think I see a desktop wallpaper being generated out of this. Oh wait, we already did that! Head on over to Wallpapers, Ringtones, and download section of Space Vidcast to go grab that one. Now here's an amazing shot of an F-15 in the sky. Uh, what makes this space related? If you look at the bottom of the picture, you can make out both Kennedy Space Center Shuttle launch pads, 39A and 39B. These images were taken by John Peltier, and look what, it, wait, is that, is that a shuttle launching? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's Space Shuttle Atlantis on STS-132. And if you look really closely, you can see the Space Vidcast media tent. Okay, well maybe not, but these photos just are too good for wallpapers. They're for framing. And if you want to get your own print copy, you can do that at the URL at the bottom of your screen. Prices start at around $8, and I think this would make a great collection to your space gallery. I know I'm adding them to mine. Now, we've all seen the Falcon 9 launch video before, but most sites, including our own, only had low-quality standard def from the launch itself that buffered and buffered and buffered. Fortunately, SpaceX has released this epic video in high definition of the launch itself. Now speaking of SpaceX, Falcon 9 Flight 2 is coming along nicely. On June 27, 2010 in McGregor, Texas, SpaceX performed a 40-second static firing test of the next nine Merlin engines to be used on the first stage of Falcon 9 Flight 2. Say that three times fast. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah! Here we go. Here we go. Do it! Do it! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Now, I don't know about you, but I was just waiting for the entire structure to drip from the ground and launch into space. Now, Falcon 9 Flight 2 is currently scheduled to lift off sometime in the future. Uh, quarter three of this year, maybe, maybe not. And finally, some awesome news for you Roku owners out there. Space Vidcast now has our own channel. Thanks to no small part, and by no small part, I mean entirely to Todd the Moon, our Pete Reset. Now, if you want to watch Space Vidcast on your HDTV at home, you can with ease. Just pick up this $99 box and hook it up to your broadband internet connection and HDTV. Install the free Space Vidcast channel and you can watch our live channel, NASA TV Live, our all new live feed from the International Space Station, Space Pods, and archived live shows right from the comfort of your living room. Now, this thing is beyond awesome. Nearly 3,500 Space Tweeps have already installed the Space Vidcast channel in the first week alone. If you don't already have a Roku box, go pick one up using the link on the screen. Not only can you get your Space Vidcast fix, but you can also get Netflix streaming, Amazon On Demand, and a slew of other awesome channels. Now, please don't forget to rate our channel while you're at it. Of course, we're only accepting a five-star rating, though. And for you Roku standard definition owners out there, don't fret. We're working on a way for you to get our channel now as well. Now, right now, we're high def only. Now, more Space Vidcast upgrades are on the way soon. Subscribe to our newsletter to be the first to know, or better yet, grab a copy of Space Vidcast Epic to get all the juicy behind-the-scenes stuff.